Well, if it feels like things are getting hotter in Arizona, you are correct. According to the National Climate Assessment, the average temperature in the southwest uh, region, which includes State 48, is up around 2 degrees over the past century. And while you might be saying, hey, that doesn't sound like much, experts say it's actually a predictor of what's to come and a huge issue for the planet with potentially devastating effects. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks spoke with a NASA scientist about what we can all do to help reduce the risks. We have another record. NASA and the National Weather Service release the average global temperature every year, taking a look at how it's trending over time. So what did we see in 2020? Tied the record for the warmest year in history. NASA scientist Michelle Thaller says the past seven years have been the seven warmest in history. A huge part of our mission is actually studying our home, what's going on with the Earth. Thaller says their data shows the Earth's warming trend and what it could mean for us here in Arizona. The average summer temperature will keep going up, and then that means that the, the droughts may get more extreme. Places may be more prone to forest fires. On a global scale, they're seeing changes when it comes to ocean levels, too. The ice at both the poles is is melting faster than we even anticipated. Higher temps mean more potentially catastrophic events. More extreme droughts, more extreme hurricanes if you're you know, over the ocean. According to trends, Thaler says some areas of the planet will be uninhabitable for human life in the long term. Another recent study predicted that could include Maricopa County and several other counties in Arizona. So what can be done to slow or reverse it? Thaler says reducing greenhouse gas emissions, pollution, and conserving energy by doing things like buying energy efficient products for your home. Also reducing, reusing, and recycling. On a larger scale, drought mitigation, maybe without water, planting new species of plants, uh, not having as much grass that needs to be watered. Thaler says by making a few small changes, you can leave less of a carbon footprint and protect our earth in the long term. In Phoenix, Trisha Hendricks. 12 News.